How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to another All About RVs. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a handful of budget items from Harbor Freight for RVing. Some of these we've been using for years, and some of them I'm gonna be trying out for the first time. So to start off, Harbor Freight is kind of an interesting place to me because it has really inexpensive gear. And so while I'm skeptical, I'm also willing to try. And so over the years, sometimes things have not been worth it. And then sometimes I have been remarkably surprised at how well some of the things have lasted. So let's dive right into the list with something that we have been using for years with our RV. So here's one that we switched to a while ago and it's the wheel chocks. These things are heavy and heavy duty. So we used to have the yellow ones that were more a plasticky kind of a feel and we had those blow away and the wind worked them out. And uh, that's not a good thing to have your wheel chocks blow away in the wind. And you can also pull over those. We pulled over at one time and flattened them down. So we switched over to these quite a while ago, but they're, they're not gonna blow away in the wind. They're heavy. You're not gonna drive over this and flatten it. So uh, these were, $7.99 and sometimes you can find a coupon for around seven bucks. So it's about the same price as on Amazon, but if you just wanna swing in someplace in your hometown and grab these, you can get these for a really good price considering how durable they are. So this one we've used for a while too. It's a $2.99 tape measure. It's a $3 tape measure. It's so cheap and small, compact, easy to keep in the door of the truck. And I like it because I don't like to mark my normal tape measure, but this one I'll mark up and I'll put the length of our slide. So the bedroom slide, the living room slide, you can even mark the awning. So when you're pulling into a site, you grab something really small and simple and cheap, and you can make sure that your slide is going to clear coming out or your awning is gonna work with the trees. So that way you can move the RV before you start setting up. The key is to have a tape measure that you're not gonna use for all your other things so that it's always in the same place in the door of the truck. Easy to grab, you never have to go searching for it. Actually, I should go put it away right now. Now, this next one on the list, I wanted to try out. It caught my eye when I was in there because I always keep a bunch of flashlights in here. I have some of these work lights that I've talked about before because they have a magnet on the bottom and you can move them around. They come in really handy. I also keep a headlamp because having a light on your head is extremely helpful. So both of those were purchased off of Amazon, but I've always had this flashlight that was hopefully to reach out there a little bit farther, have something a little bit brighter, something you could have in hand. But they had this flashlight that was extremely similar to that one, uh, but it boasted a brighter flashlight in a similar package and it had this zooming in and out so that you can uh, either make it more of a flood or really get a pretty far distance with the flashlight. So I wanted to test this guy out. Okay, so this is the normal flashlight that I've been using in the truck. So when you see when I shine it on the trees over there, you can see what that looks like. And then the one from Harbor Freight is just, it just floods the whole area. You can't even see the other one anymore. And then you can hone it in on just a spot if you're looking for something. So uh, it gives you that ability to zoom in and have something light. I'm, I'm actually really impressed with how much light this guy shines out. So far, this is a winner for me, definitely an upgrade from what I had before. We'll see how it does for longevity. The one thing I don't like about it is when you turn on the flashlight, you have the high, you have the low, and then you have the strobe that's on there and you have to cycle through all those. So if you just wanna be on high, you wanna turn it off and you wanna go back to high, you kinda of have to go through the whole settings to get right back to the beginning. But it's just the way that it's made and it's pretty inexpensive. It was $11.99 for one and they had a coupon for $8.99. Not a bad flashlight for nine bucks. Now here's one that caught my eye as I was walking through the stores. They had a tool bag for $7.99 and there was a coupon on it for five bucks. So you could get this tool bag for five bucks. And if you remember my truck organization video is I use a tool bag in this area because it's a strange space and that tool bag can kind of conform to that. So the tool bag works great for here. And for five bucks, it's hard to go wrong on that. Now, the way that I organize my sockets, I prefer these. I, I don't really like the ones that are really inexpensive at Harbor Freight. They do have a step up from there, but um, I prefer these that really lock in so that the sockets aren't falling off and rolling around. 
Now, here's one that I'm gonna be trying out that I haven't tested before, but I read a bunch of reviews and people were saying how great this worked. And this is a, a caulk saver. So we're always having to reseal things up on the RV and we even just put some solar panels on there. And so I have done the screw, I've done resealing it with silicone around it. I've done the wire nut. I've tried all different kinds of things. And usually the sealant for the roof on an RV, it never seems to save for me. So this thing is a caulk saver. So I'm gonna give this a try. You're supposed to be able to put this in and because it goes so deep, I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be better than what I have tried before. And hopefully the halfway used tube of caulking will last longer than what I've done in the past. Okay, here is a couple. Number one, I've been doing this for a long time. I've been using these bungee straps. I think these are the ones from Harbor Freight, uh, but you can get a bundle of them for like $7.50 or a coupon for five bucks. And so the longer ones so that they reach around the propane tank, I tie a knot in them so I can get them a perfect tightness so that it doesn't roll around when we go to fill up the propane tank and it keeps it secure in the bed of the truck. And they, they just come in handy in other ways too. So if you need to use them with a tarp or something like that, these will work out. And then another thing that I have not tested at Harbor Freight, but I saw that they sold it as we were walking through the aisles, is they sell some of that tape, the, the tread tape on the stairs. So if your tread tape is wearing out, you can replace it with new stuff there. So that's different than what we use on the inside of the RV. This has more of like a sandpapery feel. So I don't know how well it sticks, but I saw that they had it there. Now these last two are a little bit of a split. One thing that I've been doing for a long time and one thing that I'm gonna be trying out for the first time. So what I've been doing for a long time is I've been using these little lights. They're only a dollar. You can go and get them for a dollar, a little LED light, and uh, they have a magnet on the back and a hook. So you can hang it or you can magnetize it to something. I've used these so much when installing solar or working in a bay or something like that. You can just magnetize it and get light exactly where you need it to. My dad used to get coupons where you could get these for free and he had these all over the place. And I see why, they are very handy. The second thing is this anti-fatigue roll mat. I got this for $10.99 there and I'm going to cut it to the size of my storage area in the front bay of the fifth wheel. So that way I can have a little bit of an insulation down there and things won't slide around because it's just bare metal on the bottom. And this will give it like a non-skid surface under there for things just not sliding around. So I wanna try this out and see what I think of it. So I think that's gonna do it for today with our list of budget things that we found at Harbor Freight for RVing. So I'm gonna keep this list updated, so I'll pin comments at the top if something fails us that's on this list that didn't end up working well for us. Uh, so that way I can keep a, a running tally of, of what works and what doesn't work and, and pass that along to you guys. So hopefully something in this list will help you guys out to help you enjoy RVing even more. So like I said, that's gonna do it for today. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos about RVing, hit that subscribe button. And if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will. See you next video. Everybody's always wondering where my family is when I'm doing these videos. They're hiding out. Look, right behind me. My son's right over there. We're just hiding. I mean, it's a $299, $99. It's a, that's a price. It's either you're way overspending or way, way confused. One of the two on that. <laughs>